Chef Zublo in the house. Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to Zublo's Kitchen. So, I had about a cup of heavy whipping cream left from my previous video. So I put it in a mason jar and it got me thinking, why don't we make some butter? The old fashioned way, you know, where you had to churn it, but we're just going to shake this up. So, I'm going to take some salt, I'm just going to add it in. Okay, and then I'm just going to shake this up, probably for about what, 5 minutes, 10, 15? I'm just going to shake, I'm just going to shake it up. I'm going to shake this up. We're going to shake this up. I know you could use a, a hand mixer, you could use a, a, you know, a KitchenAid, all that stuff, and that's probably better. But you know what? I had this mason jar and I had a cup left and I threw away the cap and I'm like, you know what? Let's make butter. So I'm just going to shake this up. That's how, how I get my exercise. Shake, shake, shake. Just me shaking this thing, cause I like to shake this thing. Making butter the homemade way, cause why not? It's almost there, it's becoming whipped cream by now. Take out your frustration, be like, Ugh. I am still shaking. Let me see how it is. It's getting there. It's getting there. I'm gonna shake this for probably another few minutes. It's getting um it's the consistency of whipped cream, but kind of going over to butter. So. It's gonna be a good thing. I think that's gonna turn out great. You could tell there's not no more liquid inside. Like it's so like it's getting solidified because it's not like if you hear it, it's not swishing around. And there's a fly in here. How did you get in here? Listen. See you don't hear the swoosh anymore. Look at that. Look at that. Though I think it's like going from whipped cream to butter, I think it still needs a little more zhuzhing around. But we're getting there. We are getting there. So I just made a pumpkin alfredo, and if you watch that video, um, I don't want to say I was a little disappointed, but I was a little disappointed because I thought using pumpkin puree, I would I would feel like you would get like a little of that pumpkin flavor, but I really didn't. I didn't get that flavor at all, and to me, 
it just seemed that the pumpkin, the pumpkin puree just made it orange. Like that was the whole purpose of it. It wasn't, oh yeah, oh yeah, you could look at that. It's coming away from the sides. I don't know if you can see that in the light. We're getting butter. Um, yeah, so f t for me, I feel like the the pumpkin puree just turned it orange and really didn't give it flavor. Because it, to me, it tasted just like Alfredo. You know, garlic Alfredo with the Parmesan cheese. The pumpkin really didn't add anything, nor did the nutmeg add any flavor. So... A little, a little disappointed, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remake it and put my own twist on it. I got that recipe from a friend. Oh, yeah. Actually, kind of smells nice. Look at this. Look at that. I think it, I think it needs to go, I'm going to do it a little more because I feel like Kind of, almost kind of reminds me of like, like whipped, like whipped uh, cream cheese or something. You do it a little more. But yeah, so I think I'm going to redo, I'm still going to post the video. This uh, pumpkin Alfredo video will be posted by the time this one comes out. Uh, so I think I'm going to redo it, but do my own twist on it. Because I had some ideas, but I wanted to try the recipe because I'd never tried pumpkin Alfredo. So... Oh yeah, look at that. It is just swishing around in there. Look at that. All right. And I'll be right. So as you could hear, you could hear there's liquid in here, okay? Look at that. So now we have butter and we have buttermilk. So, and if I'm not mistaken, I think you, I'm pretty sure you put the butter in, is it an ice bath, I believe? And then you could save the buttermilk. So that's what we're going to do. That's what I'm going to do, so I'll be right back. So, I have a little little thing here. This is what we're going to do for the buttermilk. So, I'm going to lift this up. Ready? And I'm going to dump this out. Okay. So, the butter is still stuck in there. But, that right there is buttermilk. So, we're going to save that for... A different day. And they say, let's see if I can grab. Come on. There we go. There's our butter. And I'm going to go ahead and it says you're supposed to rinse this with cold water. Too much. Oops. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just. Ow. Slice that. It's not a big roll. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this, pat it down. Can you guys see that? Not really. There we go. There we go. I'm going to go ahead. I wasn't expecting this video, honestly. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to salt it. But then, let's go ahead and roll it. And then tie it. Ooh, I should have did that. Hmm, do I want to do that? I have an idea. Okay. I'm going to unroll this. Because <laughs> it's just, I'm going to put it back into the bowl. I might need another thing of, eh, maybe not. 
I'm gonna do, because I love garlic, garlic, and onion, onion. Where is the onion, onion? Here we go. I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic, garlic, and a little bit of the onion, onion seasoning from Tastefully Simple. Then I'm going to kind of mix it around a little bit just to get everything in there. Squeeze it out a little bit. Okay. Then I'm going to take this. Now I'm going to roll it. Just like that. And kind of twist this side. Twist this side. And kind of roll it out like that. And I need to wash my hands. There we go, we have our log of butter. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and see how it turns out. Maybe I will use it today. And now, okay, so I could put that away. Then we have this. Now this, like I said, is the buttermilk. And you could use a lot with the buttermilk. You can use it for chicken, uh, to marinate chicken. You could use it in baking. So I think I'm going to reserve this and maybe, I mean, I didn't get a lot. I mean, remember, I only used a cup of heavy whipping cream, but if you use more than a cup, I'm sure you'll get a lot more. And I, I will try this with a mixture too, like a, like the mixing aid, the kitchen aid, and like the hand mixer or whatever. So we could definitely, we'll definitely do that. But this was just an unplanned video because I had the um, the heavy whipping cream. Let me go ahead and put it up like that. I had the heavy whipping cream because I used it for the recipe, and I had a cup left, and I'm like. What am I going to do with it? Because I threw away the, the cap and I didn't want to go in the garbage and get it because that's gross. So I'm like, okay. And I was going to make, I was going to make a like coffee creamer, but I'm like, no. Because I had the jar and I had the, the whipping cream. I'm like, let's make butter. So that's what I did. And that's what we, you know, obviously that's what we just made. Uh, so I'm excited. I want to try this. I want to see, maybe, maybe tomorrow I'll make another video and use this. Maybe like I'll marinate some chicken in here. I know it's not a lot, so maybe like a piece or two. And we'll season this up and we'll, um, yeah, we'll do that. But, yeah, I'm going to let the butter chill and then I'm going to make maybe like a piece of toast or something. And then we'll try it. So, I'll be back soon. All right, hello everyone, and welcome to Zeplo's Kitchen. It's been a day since I made this butter. I didn't try it yesterday, because I thought we'd try it with Nina. Morning. And here's what it looks like. A little log. A little log, can you see that? It smells delicious though. Smell like, you can smell the Ooh, garlic. Oh yeah, you can. You can smell the garlic and onion. I use the garlic, garlic and onion, onion seasoning. We're toasting a bagel. Two bagels. And we're gonna try it and it's gonna be delicious. And did you want it darker? I think it's no, that's fine. It's okay. Fine. Wait for the other one to pop up. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Yep. 
Mm -hmm. Getting ready for the holiday. And on the other side, it says, I'm a Grinch before coffee. <laughs> I love the Grinch. Love the Grinch. Yeah, every year she's like, I'm going to be the Grinch. Okay, look at them bagels. Ooh, nice and toasted bagels. See that? Nice and toasty. And they're onion bagels. All right, so I'm just going to spread. It's well, that's okay. It'll start to melt in, in there because the bagels are hot. It's not fully thawed. But that's okay. You should use the other end. That's why it's got serrated. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I let that one sit. Okay, there you go. I don't know if you want more. Bagel. <laughs> give me the knife. Yeah. Give me the. Give me the knife. Come on, just take it already. What do you give? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't know you were giving me the butter. I just thought you were giving me the knife. Oh, see, see, it's melting in there. It's melting in there. Show the audience. Look how nice it is. Look melts. how nice the butter is melting in this bagel. Looks oh, it smells delicious. See? No, low, look. See, all you need is just a minute. Just a, a minute or two on there and... Okay. Took it away from me. I'll try it. I was going to wait for you. Okay, I'm going to take a taste toasted onion bagel with garlic, garlic, onion, onion, butter. Homemade. Homemade. That he made yesterday. Okay. Okay, ready? Here we go. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's good. Mmm. That is good. That is so good. It so is delicious. very good. That mm -hmm. seasoning looks yeah. like a charm. That's a great seasoning. Oh, this is really good. Mm -hmm. And remember, it's homemade. Mm -hmm. And it's just heavy whipping cream. I might not be able to talk to people at work today, but hey, that's okay. <laughs> mm. that you, know, you know what? Do you remember how much of the seasoning you put in? You just probably like a little tablespoon of each. Okay, because it's not overpowering. You, you know? Mm-hmm. It's not an overpowering taste. You can taste the onion and you can taste the garlic, but it's not like, boom, punching your face. And the butter's not salty either. No, I, it's I, not. I did add a pinch of salt. That's but very good. It's a success. We might well, be making our own butter from now on. Yeah, hey. Sometimes you got to do that stuff. Because it's better than the store. Mm. And you said this was just heavy whipping cream. Mm-hmm. And I use this. Right here. And I just shook it up. Now, how much heavy whipping cream did you use to make this little bit? I used about a one cup because I needed one cup for my other dish. Okay. And it's 16 ounces. Okay, so, so one cup made a nice little log. Make more. So yeah, that was mm. success. Now, like I said, you don't ha you don't have to do it in a mason jar. I did because the idea that I was going with yesterday, I decided not to do right on the spot. And stuff like that happens, you know? So, this was leaking. I don't know. When I would shake it, it would leak, but it turned out fine. Very good. Otherwise, what would you do? Mix it? You could mix it with the hand mixer, mm -hmm. or you could use the, the KitchenAid and mix it, or, you know, one of those, the standing mixers. I'm, I'm okay. sure there's a bunch of different names out there. Interesting. But it's very good butter, boy. And I think you let it go for like 10, 15 minutes. And then you have butter. And then you wash it in cold water 
And then once it comes clear, then you add, like, then you have your butter. You can add your seasonings. What do you mean you wash it? You wash the butter. Really? Mm-hmm. In cold water. Oh, see. He's teaching me things I don't know. Okay. Because you don't want, like, you're supposed to, like, wring it out and everything. Mm-hmm. So then when you wash it, you wring it out from the water and roll it in a nice log. And then that's when I added the seasonings, mixed it up, rolled it. So. Well... It was, it's very good. Thank you. This was a success, and we may be making homemade butter more often. Yeah, we could, you could add anything to that butter. I mean, I even thought about making like a, like a sweet, like a vanilla butter for something. You never oh, know. Oh, yeah. What about, what about cinnamon butter? Yeah, you can, like, uh, like that restaurant, Texas Roadhouse. Yeah, Make cinnamon some cinnamon butter. butter. Mm. Mm-mm. But this came out good. And you know what the cinnamon butter will be good on? Uh, sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah? Sweet potatoes? Mm-hmm. That could, would be a way to... If you make homemade cinnamon rolls, you mm. can use that butter to... Oh, yeah. Put on, mm. put on top. Very good. Very good. Yes, very good. Try it. You'll like it. <laughs> you said exactly what I was going to say. Mmm. Mmm. With a nice hot cup of coffee. Good. And that's oh. it. That's it. That's the show. Thank you all for tuning in to Zudlow's Kitchen. Hopefully next time I can cook with Zudlow because, you know, we don't have the same days off anymore and it's difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult. I think the next day off we have together is Sunday. But what we'd like to do is soon we'd like to do some baking. Yes. Instead of just cooking meals, we'd like to do some baking. Mm -hmm. And the holidays are coming, so... Yeah, they sure are. We'll be making some cookies and desserts. Cookies, cakes. Sounds we may good. even make a pâté choux d'eau. Yeah, and try a croquembouche. Yeah, try a croquembouche and uh, macaron. Not macaroons. Yeah, there's macaron. a difference. The O is the difference. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> thank you all. Thank you all for tuning in to Zubbo's Kitchen. I really appreciate it. Nina really appreciates it. I do. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And be the best that you can be every day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. That's it.